Hawkeye Holler Nation stand up and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the season two monster truck announcement video. We got 16 trucks that we are going to introduce. These are the trucks that will be participating in this upcoming eight week event. We will also get to the tracks, the point systems, and how everything will shape up. And then I will give my YouTube members and my Patreon members a chance to decide a vehicle. Now, I wanted to do a Decide Your Ride, but unfortunately, with the way YouTube has come after me back in December and really threatened the channel, I cannot do a Decide Your Ride. I can only do a Decide Your Ride for those who, you know, pay to support the channel. That way, I know they are of age and they're not a child. Guys, huge thank you to my YouTube pick members. Again, these guys get a choice at deciding a ride. Thank you for the support on the channel. You guys truly are amazing. Thank you so very much. I cannot wait to see what you guys pick, so make sure you drop those comments down below when we get to the Decide Your Ride segment of this video. Huge thank you to my Patreon members, Jason and Arvin. Again, they get their chance to decide a ride now. Since Jace and Arvin both hold down Patreon and the YouTube memberships, they only get a choice at one vehicle. They understand how the rules go. Now we are ready to get this video kicked off, get our trucks introduced, and then we will get to everything else you need to know for this second monster truck season. It's gonna be a fun eight weeks. This will kick off in, let me pull up my calendar real quick. We will have our first set of races, which will be heat races. Now remember, there will be no qualifying this year. Our first heat race will be Let's do January, let's do January 19th. That is when we will kick off our monster truck season. I'm looking forward to that. If that does change, I will let you guys know if we have to postpone it back with my work schedule and everything coming out here very soon. So let's go ahead and get these trucks introduced. Who's it gonna be? Now, we are going to start right here with Bear Devil. Bear Devil will make their triumphant return. They did not have the season they wanted last year, but hey, they're rocking a new paint scheme. I'm curious to see how they're gonna do. So let's get Bear Devil cracked open and ready to rumble, get his... Oh, there we go. There is... Throw that on the ground. No, oh, we'll tilt you guys down just a wee bit. That way you guys can see these trucks up close and personal. There is Bear Devil. Oh my goodness. Now, Bear Devil is real front heavy. He is a heavyweight. Weighs quite a bit. But you know what? I think he's going he's gonna to be ready to rumble this season. So there is Bear Devil. Now, Patreon members and YouTube members, this is your chance to decide your ride. If you see a truck you want to represent this season, drop that comment down below. I am excited. Now, nobody chose Shark Reek last year. He will not be making an appearance this season. Maybe in season three, he will be back. So... Patreon members, YouTube members, decide your rides now. Up next, you got the Jeep Wrangler. Oh my goodness, this is the orange and turquoise one. What a beautiful truck. Let's go ahead and pull him on out. Oh my goodness, see? This is that tire packaging that I just don't care for. I love the new packaging for 2023. But here is the Jeep Wrangler. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Oh, oh it's, already, it's already wanting to race away. Jeep Wrangler right there, truck number two. Oh my goodness. Cannot wait to see who is going to rock the points this year. It's gonna be amazing, I tell ya. All right, let's grab truck number three out. This is new for 2022. Oh, this is last year. Cage Rattler. Now this is a lot bigger than Snake Bite. Oh my goodness. Ugh, let's pop it open. And we'll get Cage Rattler on out. Toss that on the ground, and cage rattler. Here we, oh, okay, okay. this is nice and heavy too. Oh my goodness, I wish I had my scale nearby. I'd be weighing these guys in, but we'll do that the first uh, the first heat race of the season. Kind of looks like he has horns. Got a pink tongue. Cage rattler may be interesting. Oh God, I hate snakes. Jacques, you know I hate snakes. There is cage rattler, truck number three for this season. All right, let's go ahead and grab Hotwiler. Hotwiler is truck number four for this season. Now, Hotwiler has impressed here on the channel before, so I would not sleep on Hotwiler. It's going to be one of the trucks to beat. I, I have a feeling this may be feeling. I have a feeling Hotwiler could be the truck to take it all in season two. That's just my feeling. I love these X-ray bodies too. 
So very cool. Or X Wrecker, I should say. There is Hotwiler. Truck number four. All right, let's move on to truck number five. We got a Glow in the Dark Bionic Bruiser. Haven't seen Bionic Bruiser on the channel in a while, so let's see how well the Glow in the Dark one does. I'm excited about this one. All right, more trash to put on the ground. Bionic Bruiser, there we go. Got that glow in the dark body with those orange wheels. Oh man, she's gonna be sharp. Now, I would not consider Bionic Bruiser a heavyweight. It is heavy, but not as heavy as most. And one of the downfalls to Bionic Bruiser, as you guys can see, it has these fins that come out the back, and that does kind of make it weeble and wobble in the rear end a little bit. But I think uh, with the track set up this year, we may be all right. So there is Bionic Bruiser. Up. Oh. Oh, it's it's still in frame. You know what? We're gonna put the we're gonna put the contestants in the back. I think we'll do it like that. Yeah, we'll just put these guys back here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're looking sharp, looking sharp. Alright. Next truck up is going to be another glow in the dark. That is Podium Crasher Orange with blue wheels. Ow. Jeez, that thing just exploded. Let's go ahead and grab that one out. And there is Podium Crasher. This will be truck number six for our 16 trucks. That means we got 10 trucks left. Tell you what, you do not want to sleep on Podium Crasher. This is one of the strongest trucks. I believe they finished in the top 10, I mean top five in last season, but hard to say. There is Podium Crasher. Don't forget, YouTube members and Patreon members, this is your chance to decide your rides. So drop those comments down below. Don't forget to like the video while you're at it. And definitely make sure you are subscribed and have that bell rung. All right, we got our first two pack now. You don't get to represent two trucks. You can either pick Buzz Lightyear or Zerg. So let's go ahead and get them out. Now Zerg is definitely a heavyweight. That truck is going to be nice and heavy. Going to worry about it on some of the tracks. But I think on some of these other tracks that we will be talking about here pretty soon, I think they'll do all right. But yeah, look at that truck. There is Zerg. Yes, nice and heavy. Cannot wait to weigh this guy in and see what he tops out at. There's Zerg. And of course, we've seen this friendly face before. There is Buzz Lightyear. Again, I think this truck is going to do really well. He's done really well on some of the specialty events we've held here on the channel. And I think Buzz Lightyear is going to be... One of the top contenders for this season. All right, get these trucks out of the way. Another two pack to go over. This is the Desert Rally two pack with the Land Rover and the Mercedes Benz Unimog. So let's go ahead and get that open. I've been sitting on this two pack for quite a while, since before I moved actually. So happy to finally be getting this open. Man, I got so many monster trucks stacked up, it's crazy. We've got so many trucks for so many seasons down the road. There is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog, one of the best trucks we've ever had here on the channel. So again, this truck is going to be one to beat. I'm excited about this one. Plus, it just looks so dang cool. Kind of looks like a, uh, what is it, was it, is it Dracar or Dakar kind of rally event? Or desert event, I should say. So there's the Unimog. And of course, then we have its counterpart, the Land Rover Defender. You'll be seeing all these names down below. That way it'll help you choose a vehicle more efficiently. There is the Land Rover. Now the Land Rover did, they, they won an event last season, but they did struggle for the most part, but maybe with this track lineup this year, they will do a little bit better. All right, we are down to our final six trucks. Here we go. Now we're not gonna wanna sleep on Will Trash at all. This is going to be one of the best trucks in this season. I am excited to see how well they're going to do if they can <clears throat> capture a victory and even a championship. So there is Will Trash at all. Probably maybe the third or fourth heaviest truck in this lineup. I really think Zerg or Bear Devil is the heaviest, but this truck is this truck carries all the weight in the front just like Bear Devil does. So it may struggle on one track this year, but I think on the rest it's going to be nice and it's gonna be nice and nice and good. Nice and good. All right, coming up next. Again, this is going to be one truck to look out for. This is the Good Luck Trolls truck. All right, pop that open. 
we go, put that right there. And there is a good luck trolls truck. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Got the nice little, the nice little poof on top. Will that help them or will that slow them down? It's gonna be hard to say. Nice, you know, it's surprisingly nice and heavy. I'm pretty sure this is an all metal body, no plastic pieces on it at all. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be one to look out for. There is the good luck trolls truck. Uh, sorry about that, I had to do a quick battery change there on the camera, but we are continuing on with the Decide Your Ride for the YouTube members and Patreon members. Again, I wanna apologize that I can't let everybody just decide a ride, but with the way YouTube's been, you know, I even heard over on Races and Fun that they were, you know, they had YouTube come after them as well. It's a, it's a scary place for us to die cast racers right now. I understand these are, you know, children's toys but that it's not really what we aim for i mean again we love that kids watch our channels but that is not our main targeted audience i'm not just speaking for myself i am you know for the diecast racing community in general none of us want to see none of us want to lose our channels we you know this is how we earn a living so it's a scary time for us right now but anywho we are continuing on with the decide to ride here we go this is the one you know i said buzz lightyear hot weather would probably be the ones to take it all. But I think Steer Clear is gonna put up one heck of a fight for that title. Especially with as, uh, you know, had the running of the bulls last year and this was one of the winners. Oh, uh, where, where are you going? Well, don't be shy, don't be shy. I know I'm talking you up, but don't be shy. There is Steer Clear in purple. I am, so, oh my gosh, this truck is so beautiful. Again, this was my favorite truck from the A-Case. And I got more case unboxings coming later this month. I hope you guys are looking forward to them. So definitely make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ah, there he went away. Man, he's ready to race already. There is Steer Clear. All right, up next, you got Bread Boys. Okay, another heavyweight. We got lots of heavyweights in this season. So who's it gonna be? Let's go ahead and get Bread Boys out. Put them right there. And there is Bread Boys, the nice catering truck. Again, nice and heavy, but sounds like something maybe a little loose. Let's go ahead and pop open their side door if I can. My nails are, it's cold here in Iowa and my fingers are hurting. There we go, there is the inside artwork for Bread Boys if we can get the camera to focus. There we go, we got some sandwiches in there. Very cool. Yeah, Bread Boys is gonna be a great truck to look out for. There it is, Bread Boys. Two trucks left. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. It is Bored to be Wild. Now, this is not your average monster truck. I am curious to see how well this one's gonna do. Will they struggle or will, you know, will they do all right? Let's go ahead and get him out. Now we got some rubber bands on him. Let's see if I can figure out how to get those off. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a lasso, yeah. I've been watching enough Yellowstone, I know how to lasso something. I think, maybe not. Come on, come on, get on out. Come on, come on now. There we go, boom. We got Bored to be Wild free from his enclosure. Yes, there is Bored to be Wild. Oh my goodness, does he come off? He does. So hopefully he doesn't come off during a race event and get run over by his own truck. There is board to be wild. Let's go ahead and take a look at that deck board. It says Hot Wheels on there. That's so super cool. Board to be wild. I really hope somebody chooses him. If not, you know, don't sleep on trucks you think aren't going to do very well because oftentimes they do perform more than you think. All right, and lastly, we got the OG himself. That is Bigfoot. Let's go ahead and get him open. Happy to see an OG truck in this season. I'm ready to see how well Bigfoot can do. And there is Bigfoot. Oh my goodness, I love that paint scheme on this truck. Very cool indeed. Oh, look at this. He's got blue bead locks up front and white bead locks in back. I don't know if that's an error. No, I don't think so since there's kind of like white right here. But man, that is so cool. There's Bigfoot. All right, there are your 16 trucks participating in season two of our monster truck event. Now, let's go ahead and get to our track lineup. We'll talk about points and all that good stuff. All right, Hawkeye Holler Nation, let's go ahead and talk tracks for our upcoming monster truck season. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, we are going to start it off just like we did last year with the Rainbow Road. I absolutely love the Rainbow Road. I know you guys do as well. It's one of our best track events we hold here on the channel, and we kick it off with road course racing left and right. These monster trucks are going to have to battle it out and see which one of them is going to have what it takes to score that first event. So, how we will set up an event. We will have heat races. So we will have all 16 trucks participate in a heat race. So we'll have, a, let's say, Buzz and Zerg. They're gonna face off in a best of one, one and done. You have to beat your opponent down to the finish line. And now this year for the Rainbow Road, we will, we will have an official finish line. It will not be a go the distance Rainbow Road. So a little bit different than last season. So if, let's say, Zerg beats Buzz Lightyear, so let's say Zerg beats Buzz. Zerg will automatically get one point. This season points will matter the most. So if you lose a heat race, you don't get a point. You automatically have to wait out until our next event. Then, so heat races are Thursdays. Again, you're seeing all this information down here. Thursdays are heat races. That is where we will cut the field from 16 down to eight. And then Sundays will be the big race days where we will have eight trucks battle it out for maximum points in best of three races. So let's say uh, Zerg and Podium Crash are up against one another. One of those trucks have to win two races to get points and move on to that next round in uh, the event itself. Again, all the rules will be on the screen. That way you guys can see them. I know I'm kind of poor at explaining things, but I'm doing my best here. Ah, here we go. So, of course, the main events will be, you will start out with eight, the round of eight, then we will go to the final four, and then the two to tango, which are the final two trucks. First truck eliminated. So, let's say we got eight trucks. First truck eliminated is Podium Crasher. They will automatically get one point added to their scorecard. Seventh, we'll get two, six, three, fifth, four, so on and so forth, with the winner getting a maximum of eight points. And let's say you win your heat race, you could leave you could leave the main event with nine points on the scoreboard. So again, points matter, especially since we are not handing out qualifying points or, you know, yeah, qualifying points definitely help. I mean, you got one point for qualifying, so that, that's just how it is. Now, moving on to the next track. The next track, I know this one is very favorable and unfavorable at the same time. Event number two will be the Reckon Raceway. I know a lot of you don't like it, but then again, I know a lot of you do like it. It's a very unpredictable track while being a very predictable track at the same time. But I wanted a uh, sort of unique track in this lineup, and I love the Reckon Raceway. I know, again, on the fence for some of you, but again, Reckon Raceway will be event number two. Then, moving on to event number three, we will have the box jump, where I will bring out a Hot Wheels box, and we will set up the super stretch where these trucks will have to actually jump over the box. Uh, well, I mean, some of them may get there, some of them may know how to conquer it and keep their trucks stable to the ground and able to cross that box with ease. But that is how that will go, that will be event number three. Event number four, we don't have clear track anymore, so we are renaming it the open track. So we will have the super stretch set up with one foot track pieces right after the super stretch. Then from there on out, it will be a straight up tabletop race to the finish. First truck to advance over the finish line will be your winner, so on and so forth. Event number five, we head to the loop track, one of the best tracks again we've held here on the channel. Uh, we got lots of heavyweights in this year's season. Well, this season, we got multiple seasons in a year, I should say. So we're gonna, these heavyweights, I think Zerg, Zerg may be all right, but if we look at somebody like Bionic Bruiser, they may struggle in the loop track. So keep an eye out, we'll see how well that does. Next up, event number six is the jump jump track. What we're gonna do is we are going to set up two identical jumps in each lane here on the super stretch, and these trucks will have to jump over one and then jump over a second jump while keeping these trucks stable and not wrecking themselves out of the event. Again, I, I don't have promo art or you know tracks set up for this right now. I know I did last year, but again, trying to get this video out real soon. That way I can stay ahead of the curve when I start my new job. So that will be the sixth track here on our eight track season. Track number seven, we head to the shorty track. 
Now this will be the shortest track we've ever done. Now it's not gonna be like that one track we did before uh, that you guys really didn't care for, but this will be a short track. I don't really know what we're gonna use for that yet but it will be a short track, so look forward to that here for event number seven. And of course, we wrap up the season with the big, bad race itself. The King of the Hill will be the season finale for season two. It's gonna be amazing. This is where we see the trucks really push it and see which one of them has what it takes. So, heat races, 16 trucks enter, eight trucks advance to the finals. Trucks who win into the main event get one point, one and done races, eight eliminated, and they move on to the next season. Not sorry, next event. So the eight trucks who lose in a heat race will start first in the next uh, next event. Also, I want to apologize if you guys hear sniffling. I sitting out here in this cold garage gets me a little sniffly. All right, main event. Now the lineup is set from the heat races. So you guys, you guys, if you guys were around for last season, you understand how that works. Now, it will be best of three, and of course, like I said, round of eight, final four and two to tango. First truck eliminated gets one point, so on and so forth. And then, of course, we know how this wraps up. Trucks with the most points at the end of the season will be crowned champion. Now, I did say last season they would lock themselves into the next season, but Shark Reek will not be participating this season. Maybe they will be back for this next season, season three. And that's going to be most of it. That's going to be all you need to know. If you, again, if you guys have questions, go ahead. Go join the Discord. It is linked down below. Ask your questions over there. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Or leave them down in the comments down below. I'll get back to them as quick as I can. But really, Discord is the quickest place for me to get back to questions, comments, or concerns. So head over to that. It is linked down below. Again, if you want to represent a truck, you have to be a YouTube member. The YouTube memberships are $2.99 a month. They get your name locked into a truck. Again, YouTube members already. Get to go decide your rides. Drop those comments down below. Patreon members also get that chance as well. So consider becoming a patron. Lowest tier over there is $3 with the maximum tier being $28. So uh, you guys get plenty of benefits with these tiers over on Patreon. And of course, you guys do get first premiere access with the YouTube memberships here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Show your support for the channel by becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon member. Go follow me over on Instagram. Go join the official Hawkeye Heller Discord. Oh my goodness, we are getting ready to kick off some racing. I have, I'm jonesing to kick off some racing, you guys. I'm jonesing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Do all the good stuff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And with that being said, have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you back here at the hauler where we're going to kick off some racing very soon. Now, the next video will be the announcement video for the Cottonmouth. We are going to introduce our American Muscle Tournament. I'm looking forward to it, and I'll see you guys there. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Thanks so much. I love you. I'm out.